Hey guys, Swifty here, breaking down everything Chicago Bears for you. Today's video is an exciting one. I think a lot of people aren't paying enough attention to the nickelback spot. It's a key position in this defense, and it's one of our first real position battles of the season. While a lot of people focus on the right guard position, I have my eyes on a much more entertaining battle that has been heating up recently and should continue all the way through training camp. The battle for the starting nickel corner job, specifically Avon Young versus Thomas Graham Jr. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about Thomas Graham Jr. TG is 5'11", 193 pounds, and runs a 4'5", 40-yard dash. He is a tough, blue-collar player. He plays physical and is good at supporting the run. He has good speed, but he has better short area burst than he does deep speed. He has fluid hips and is good in man coverage. He is good in both man and zone, but he's better when making plays in front of him. I love how Graham plays. I've heard some people say he can only be a nickel. I actually agree with what Chicago is doing. He has a ton of potential. I absolutely love his footwork. His movement skills are so smooth, and his footwork looks like that of a 10-year veteran. He only scored a 5.65 on the RAS score, but he looks a lot more athletic on the field thanks to his IQ and situational awareness. His movement is just so smooth, and he has good speed and solid burst. He is a bit too aggressive at times and can be susceptible to play fakes and double moves. I love how he plays, though, and I think he has all the talent to be a starting cornerback in the NFL. I love how he is working as a boundary corner and putting in the extra work to play nickel. He has the skills to play either. I think if long-term he is your nickel with Jalen Johnson and Kyler Gordon, I love that trio. But I'm talking more about this year's nickel corner battle, and you can't do that without talking about former Raven corner Tavon Young. Man, I watched some more Tavon Young tape. I previously watched all seven of the games he started for the breakdown I did on April 8th after we signed him. I also watched the whole season of the Ravens defense in condensed version. I noted that Tavon was an aggressive playmaker. He has 4-4 speed and great burst, a little undersized at 5'9", is solid in the run game, and is a weapon as a blitzer. He also is a ball hawk and just a great slot cornerback. I rewatched some more tape on him. And I still just love what I see when I watch him. He's a ferocious, aggressive playmaker. He's blazing fast. He can play man or zone coverage. He is good versus the run and pass. He's lightning quick coming off the edge when, they, when he blitzes. He has a warrior's mentality, and I just love his game. He's sticky in man coverage and can flip his hips and run deep. I like him better in press coverage, and he is so dangerous coming off the edge. Young is a weapon on defense. I love his IQ and awareness of where the ball is at all times. I'm continuously impressed with how good of a slot corner he is and how well I envision he will fit this defense. He is extremely physical and aggressive for a guy his size. Tavon is 28 years old and was signed by the Ravens to an extension that made him the highest paid nickel corner in the entire NFL just a few seasons ago. His problem since he signed that contract has been staying healthy. Last season was his first full year since he signed that big deal. He played in all 17 games and started seven. Honestly, when watching, it felt like he was one of the best players in the Ravens secondary. He's versatile, consistent, and he makes big plays. I think he should have played more. It's almost like the Ravens were limiting his snaps last year to keep him healthy. So did he prove he can stay healthy last year? Can he take additional snaps and stay on the field? To me, that is the biggest question with Tavon. If he is healthy and on the field, he is one of the best slot corners in the entire NFL. Let's get down to my final thoughts on this. I have actually called this situation pretty much to the T. I talked about it with Coach T and Herb Howard that I think Graham is capable of playing outside or inside. Now Bears coaches have came out and said that is exactly what Graham is doing. They were initially working him on the outside only, but he's been putting in extra work with the nickelbacks while Tavon Young is out. This has allowed him to showcase his skills and show the team what I saw on film last year. 
Thomas Graham Jr. has the ability to play inside or outside at corner. That versatility is going to help Graham see the field more whether he beats out Tavon Young or not. I predicted Tavon would be our nickel corner this year, but I think Graham could be our cornerback four and have the ability to play inside or out and provide a great deal of depth. That will definitely allow him to get on the field more this year and be the first guy in if there was an injury. Now, I'm not selling Graham short. I do think he can win the starting nickel job this year. I'm saying it should be a great battle. But if I had to make a prediction right now or what's best for the team this year, I think you have to give Tavon Young a slight edge. He was arguably the best nickelback in the league and the highest paid just a couple years ago, and he's currently in his prime at 28 years old, and I love the tape I saw on him from last year. And to be honest, there's just a lot more tape from last year on Tavon Young than there is Thomas Graham Jr. as he didn't get to play that much. So I just can't rule him out or overlook him like everyone else in the Chicago media is. I haven't heard anyone talking about Tavon Young. When I bring him up, people usually respond with, who? who? So I want people to understand where I'm coming from. I love Thomas Graham Jr. He was a favorite of mine last year, and I think he will see the field a lot this year. I think the best case scenario, though, is having Jalen Johnson and Kyler Gordon as our outside starters, with Tavon Young at the nickel, and then Thomas Graham as our cornerback four, who could fill in on the inside or outside. That's a valuable spot and gives us the depth we need. Taking Tavon's injury history into account, having a guy who can come in and play nickel or step in on the outside for JJ or Kyler in a pinch would bring a ton of value to this team. I do think it's possible Graham wins the nickel job. The biggest difference is that Tavon isn't really experienced on the outside and is strictly a nickel. While Thomas Graham can play both, He's been putting in the extra work this year, and whether or not he wins that job, we should still expect to see a lot of Graham this year. I love his potential, and I hope he balls out in training camp and preseason. As for Tavon, we know what he can do, but it's more a matter of staying healthy and showing that he's regained his pre-injury form. He looked really good last year, so if he is healthy, this will be a fun battle. My prediction is that if healthy, this is Tavon Young's job to lose. I expect him to win the starting nickel spot and help turn our secondary into a top 10 unit earlier than most people expect. Don't count Graham out though. He will still be on the field this year and is getting valuable experience inside and outside in this defense. He's a hard worker and I really like his game. Loose will find ways to get him on the field as well. Also, Young is only here on a one-year deal right now, and Thomas Graham Jr. can still be our nickel of the future. And like I said, this is a battle. At no point have I said that Graham can't win this job. He is a fighter and a player I personally love rooting for. I just feel like Tavon is a dog and is a player who fits that bear persona I love. Actually, they both do. Young just has more experience, and even though I think Graham could be just as good in time, right now I think Tavon is ready to let people know He's still one of the better nickelbacks in this league, and I'm all for it. These two guys aren't even talked about much in our secondary. Everyone talks about Jalen Johnson, Tyler Gordon, Eddie Jackson, and Jaquan Brisker. The nickelback role in this defense is huge, and this battle is far from over. I'm just letting you guys know my thoughts on the battle. Coaches have let it known that this is a battle, and Tavon's injury history is a huge concern, and there's no guarantee he stays healthy all year. We most likely will need Thomas Graham Jr. to step up at some point this year anyway. Another guy not talked about much in this secondary is Dane Cruikshank. I'll do another video on him and the safety position as a whole soon. Our secondary overall has so much more talent this year, and I'm so excited to see it come together. I appreciate everyone who watched the video. Please hit that like button for me. I have so much more coming. Stay tuned, and until next time, bear down. Thank you